Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number 24 and we are still working on differentiation under the integral sign. Okay, uh, in the last video, I gave you one question. Did you try it? Yeah, that is exactly where we are going to start. Okay, so the most important question and the five important points. Okay, so let's start. And I'm sure the question is already with you. Uh, the question goes like this. Evaluate the integral 0 to infinity cos lambda x the whole divided by x times e to the power minus ax minus e to the power minus bx dx. Okay, and I gave you one recommendation. Differentiate with respect to a because we have the parameters a, b, lambda and the variable of integration is x. And when we perform partial differentiation, please mind it. A is the only variable. Who is the only variable? A is the only variable. So the whole thing becomes a constant. The second term becomes a constant. So differentiation will be. You keep the constant as such. And the second term vanishes. And dx will be dx. And the first term gets differentiated. And mind it, x is the constant. Even my tongue was about to say x is a variable because uh, for a long time we are using x as a variable. But remember we are doing partial differentiation. Okay. And partial differentiation with respect to a means a is the only variable. Anyway, I am sure you didn't find much trouble with this step. Now cleaning up. Once you clean up the whole mess, you get di by da equal to minus because I can see this minus x and x gets cancelled and we get integral 0 to infinity e power minus ax cos lambda x. Okay, in improper integrals and even in the last video I gave you the formula how to evaluate this. Um, so we have an improper integral. So time to make it proper. So I'm going to write limit t tends to infinity integral 0 to t e to the power minus ax cos lambda x dx and time to integrate and hope you're able to write the integral value by yourself okay so this becomes minus limit t tends to infinity, the integral will be e to the power minus ax by the constants are a and lambda. So minus a the whole square is a square plus lambda square and minus a cos lambda x plus lambda sine lambda x within the limit x is equal to 0 to t. So this thing come outside so di by da is equal to I'm going to make it a little bit colorful 1 by a square plus lambda square limit t tends to infinity okay what do you get inside e power minus ax and the remaining thing as such cos lambda x plus lambda sine lambda x within the limit x equal to 0 to t. Now it's the usual story. You plug in upper limit and limit t tends to infinity. I hope you remember the hockey bat. e power minus infinity will be 0 and these are finite numbers so that's going to be 0. But in the exam there will be only one question. So make sure um, you write that di by da and this is exactly the step which I want to discuss with you by a square plus lambda square okay and I think most of you are feeling okay up to this okay now the big question what are you trying to find 
and what exactly did we find and make it variable separable so we get minus integral a by a square plus lambda square da okay i know some of you are a little bit weak in class 12 integration and for them i'm going to give you a special formula so look at this whenever you have the derivative of the denominator on the numerator the integral becomes a standard integral and the answer will be ln f natural logarithm of f and this is very useful when you have a polynomial uh, let's say of degree 2 and a polynomial of degree 1 that means when you differentiate a polynomial of degree 2 the derivative will be of degree 1 so if this is the condition then what we do is we manipulate this a little bit manipulation is very easy uh, the derivative is 2x 2x uh, in the denominator so what I do is I manipulate by multiplying and dividing by 2 okay now look at this my friends the derivative of the denominator is the numerator the derivative of the denominator is the numerator so what will be the answer 1 by 2 natural logarithm of the denominator plus c i'll give you one exam one more example so that it may benefit you later suppose you have integral x cube plus 7 and x square so remember when you have polynomials the degree will be one less than that of the denominator and the derivative of the denominator is 3x square so we introduce 3 and 3 and the answer will be oh i forgot dx answer will be 1 by 3 natural logarithm of the denominator anyway i told you before um, we have to write natural logarithm but, but i referred a few books um, which is circulating in your university and everyone is writing logarithms so uh, let's move ahead with the flow so we write log to the base c or simply log x cube plus 7 okay now tell me how does it help us here we are differentiating with respect to a and this went this side and we are integrating on both sides now the variable of integration is a the variable of integration is a and i can see the derivative yeah i'll introduce 2 and 2 so we end up with i is equal to minus 1 by 2 log a square plus lambda square plus c i hope you understood that step so i'm going to write that neatly we get minus 1 by 2 log a square plus lambda square plus c and we call it equation number one now time for our box the integration in the integral the given question is really big uh, that is cos lambda x by x e power minus a x minus e power minus b x dx now what we do is we put look at this we differentiated with respect to a so we put value for a in such a way that the integral will vanish and the value is really simple I have to replace a with the value b. So I put a equal to b, i equal to 0, and I use in equation 1. Equation 1 is right above this box. So 0 is equal to, I have to plug in i equal to 0, and a is equal to b. So we get minus 1 by 2 log b square plus lambda square plus c. So that c is equal to i don't have space here i'll write here 1 by 2 log b square plus lambda square you substitute everything here minus 1 by 2 log a square plus lambda square plus the value of c is 1 by 2 log b square plus lambda square now 1 by 2 comes common so we get log b square plus lambda square 
minus log a square plus lambda square and that 1 by 2 is common. So now what is log a minus log b, log a by b, that's it. Okay. In this video, I am planning to do one more question so that you become really powerful with this method. And in the next few videos, we will be doing extremely important and very lengthy questions. Okay. So, let's move ahead. Right, please. Evaluate the integral 0 to infinity e power minus x sin bx the whole divided by x dx. Okay, my friends. Um, we have the variable x and the parameter b. And this time, if you differentiate with respect to b, it will work. It's not like the question which we did in the last video. So, I am going to write applying Leibniz rule and differentiating with respect to b. So, can you tell me what will happen? b is the only variable. So, the denominator is a constant. e power minus x is a constant. The only variable part is this. b is the variable. So, we get x cos bx times dx. I hope you understood this step. Okay, so we simplify and we get di by db is equal to, look at this. And this is an improper integral and I don't want to write more steps. In examination, there will be only one question. And you remember, your answer paper is going to talk for you. Your paper will be checked by some stranger. They may not even know you. So remember, in examination, presentation is very, very important because your answer paper should talk to the person who is checking your paper. So, don't skip steps in examination. Anyway, I am not going to waste uh, your time and my time in this video. So, we cancel. This becomes an improper integral and I am going to write the next step. Limit t tends to infinity, um, integral 0 to t. And we get e power minus x cos bx dx. And you know the usual story. Um, limit t tends to infinity. Um, one more very important thing. If you are able to write the integral value by yourself, then you can be really happy. That means... Uh, you learn the formula. But if you are still not able to write the formula by yourself, I am giving you a warning. Please make sure you practice the formula regularly. Otherwise, you will be struggling with these steps in the exam. Okay, so minus 1 cos bx plus b sin bx and within the limits x is equal to 0 to t. Now, as usual, this is a constant. So, we get di by db 1 by 1 plus b square. I hope you are enjoying this um, problems now. I hope you enjoy doing problems with me. You can comment these things and whenever you encounter something difficult, please feel free to email me. Or I'm connected to my messenger, Facebook messenger in the website. You can just log into the website, click and talk to me. And that will be e to the power minus x minus cos bx plus b sin bx within the limits x is equal to 0 to t. And now the usual drama. Plug in those values, put upper limit, lower limit, remember our hockey stick. Do you still remember the hockey stick? We discussed two videos back. The easiest and the most awesome method to learn the values of exponential function. Look at this, e power 0 is 1 and before that the graph becomes asymptotic to the x-axis. That means it will never touch the x-axis. 
then there will be go to infinity. So e power infinity is infinity, e power 0 is 1 and e power minus infinity tends to 0. Okay, so you plug in these values e power minus t minus cos b t plus b sin b t minus when you plug in 0 this becomes 1 and this becomes yeah minus 1 plus 0 anyway um, this will be 0 into something so 0 so I am going to write the conclusion di by db is equal to 1 by 1 plus b square. I hope I did not miss any negative. Yeah. Okay. So, time to ask the golden question. Um, what are we trying to find? What exactly did we find? And what to do next? And our answer is as always make it variable separable integrate and move ahead but we get i think you know the formula so i'm not going to write that call it equation number one now the box where is our box and what should we write in the box the question so the question is integral zero to infinity e power minus x sin bx the whole divided by x dx so put look at this we differentiated with respect to b so tell me what should i put instead of b so that our integral will vanish say b equal to 0 i equal to 0 because sin 0 is 0 so by 1 and look at this i'm going to plug in i equal to 0 and b equal to 0 and both are 0 so c equal to 0 now close the box and write therefore by 1 i is equal to tan inverse b okay so that's the end of another type of problem in the next video we're going to watch really long problems and they're very very important for the exam and i will be back with one really good shortcut to skip uh, some problems in partial fraction and as always if you like the video don't forget to share subscribe and like and if you have any doubts please feel free to email me or talk to me directly in the messenger and i'll be back tomorrow with another video in which we'll be doing very hard questions in differentiation under the integral sign so till then my friends bye